when Stu sold CBS with the idea of Dusty Treehouse, he called me and back and said, would you do the main characters and you can do the voices? <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. So I built the three puppets. Um, uh, Scooter Squirrel, who was a, a little boy, maybe eight years old, and he was a squirrel, but always in mischief. First of all, I'm always honest almost most of the time, sort of. Yeah. And um, I do all my duties around the treehouse, unless I have to play baseball, and I always help keep everything clean unless I forget, and I've always been a good, loyal friend to all of you and all of my family here in the treehouse, and I always help someone like Stanley or Dusty when they have a problem, unless it's arithmetic. And Maxine Crow, uh, Maxine was our resident drama queen, and the adults loved her. Well, of course, it's perfectly clear to all of you that I, Maxine Crow, am the only one who can handle this tough job. And I really think it's dumb that I have to tell you why I'm so good. And then S Stanley Spider, who was this little boy, and I can't do the voice anymore, but he spoke in high falsetto, and he was... He had eight little ten, no, six little tennis shoes and two little gloves. And he became the, the standout of the show, the whole show. I mean, he got more fan mail than anything else in the show. I'm just a little guy and I don't know too much, but I am always willing to learn. And I would like to help everybody if I could. And I sure love everybody a lot. So for Dusty's Treehouse, uh, we would work on a 13-week cycle. And every week we would record or tape one show.